Now that she's back to work, it's back to the House of Commons for Nunavut MP Mumila Kakak. Her plan for the session? It's straightforward. My priorities, as always, are going to be housing, uh, affordable living, and water. But I know that realistically in this time that COVID is what, uh, is what we need to be talking about. One of the COVID discussions will be about whether people who access CERB and shouldn't have will be on the hook for repayment. Inuit organizations like ITK and NTI have already said they don't think Inuit should have to pay back CERB, regardless of the reason they got it. The MP doesn't go quite that far. Overall, I don't think it's a question of should we be paying back CERB. I think the question is why are people having or why are people in this situation? Why? It was a trip to view Nunavut housing conditions firsthand that kick-started Kakak's anxiety, which led to her break. She has plans for what she learned on that trip and expects to present them in some form in about a month. In the territory, we know it's dire. We, we people unfortunately live it every day, but not enough people are angry outside of the territory. We're a really small population. If you have one voice in there shouting housing when everybody else is shouting for else, um, it's pretty easy to get drowned out real quick. She hasn't been back to Nunavut since October and spent Christmas in the South. While that happened, back home in Baker Lake, the community was facing a tragedy. You know, Anson passing away was one of three suicides we've seen in my hometown in the last few weeks. And it's not the first Christmas slash New Year's that's been three deaths by suicide. Another one of those was my old classmate. I went to, to high school with him. And I... I used to spend a lot of time, whenever there was a death by suicide, I, I spent a lot of time for about the first week, week and a bit. I'd check in on everybody else around me, and then I'd allow myself to grieve. And I don't do that anymore. Um, I allow myself to be upset about it um, before I, I start checking in on, on, on others. In small communities, a loss like the one Kakak is describing has ripple effects throughout the community. But when you grow up, in, in a place where it's normal to be substitute teaching and comforting a lot of the kids that you've coached or volunteered with or, or whatever, and to have to sit there in classrooms all day and sit with them on the floor crying and just trying to comfort them. Like, this is the reality, unfortunately, of hundreds, if not thousands of people throughout the territory. And that's her challenge. How do you try to help Nunavu mute? Answering that challenge? That's what going back to work is going to mean for her. Kent Driscoll, APTN National News, Akhalawit.